Okay, so today I'm going to jump in and uh, to the new Vigilant system, and I'm going to show how easy it is to create a customized desktop. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just log in to my Vigilant system. And we can see here that the, there is already a desktop that's been created, but it doesn't necessarily reflect how I would like to see the data presented. So I'm going to create my own desktop. So I'm just going to click on Add Desktop here, and I'm going to give it a name. Call it New Desktop for the sake of argument. Um, I'm going to be presented with a blank canvas. So this is like one big window and I can configure it into different panes. So by clicking on the edit layout, I can now start to split my window into different panes, um, how I would like to um, see the data visually represented. So I'm just gonna come in here and make a number of different window panes. And when I'm happy with the configuration I've got, um, I'm gonna exit out of here. So now that I've got my different window panes created, what I can do is click on each one individually and assign the specific widget that I would like to see. So I'm gonna grab my mimic of my machine here for my motor pump. I'm gonna drop that right on here. So here I can see the, the two bearings I'm monitoring, uh, one in uh, vibration and one in ultrasound. Now, when I look at this, don't quite capture all of it. So I'm just gonna edit my layout, make that one a little bit bigger. Exit out, much better. So now I can see all the data that I'm interested in. I'm going to click on this pane here. I'd like to see my parameter matrix. So this is going to show me all of kind of the overall scalar data. Uh, again, not quite fitting in the way I'd like it. So I'm just going to make that one a little bit bigger as well. So now I've got those two windows configured the way I would like. On the bottom here, maybe I'd like to see a, a waterfall, uh, a waterfall of the motor drive and bearing in vibration. And let's add in a waterfall of the pump driving in, I'm gonna do my DMOD, my, uh, my enveloped reading from my ultrasound sensor. So here I've got my two different waterfall plots. I can move these around, manipulate them how I'd like to see them. I can you know, zoom in on the specific frequencies of interest however I'd like to see it. Uh, up here, let's do something simple. I'm just gonna put a trend from my uh, ultrasound reading, my RMS reading. I would like to see the individual spectrum from my pump bearing uh, in ultrasound as well. So I'm gonna take a look at that, excellent. And then down here, I'm going to look at my vibration reading. So again, I'm going to take a trend, my velocity overall, perfect. And then I'm going to grab my spectrum and I'm going to look at my, my D mod in my vibration as well. Um, so here you can see I've, I've configured this. If I don't like anything on here, I can easily remove it just by clicking on the, the X button and drop in something else. Maybe I just want to see an online value of my velocity overall. So here I can see the actual value of my inches per second reading um, against its current alarm status. So right now we're green, we're good. Um, if I wanna modify any of these, I can. Um, but from here as well, I can also you know, make some, some changes. So for my ultrasound overall, I can come in here and maybe add a second source uh, let's look at my pump drive end crest factor reading and look at it alongside my RMS overlay the two. Um, and true sense of the word, remember to turn it on. So here we go. So now I can see my trend in RMS. So that's a quick little insight into how easy it is to create a dashboard.